The servo switcher is designed as an aid for anyone who wishes to convert a remote control vehicle into an autonomous vehicle. In my case, the project is a one meter sailing boat. However, the design can be easily expanded to work with cars, planes, or helicopters. The servo switcher allows manual failover control of an autonomous vehicle using the original radio control system. A radio control system controls the servos using a series of pulses using a technique known as pulse width modulation, as can be seen in the oscilloscope trace. Longer and shorter pulses instruct the servo as to which position it should be in. When the transmitter is turned off, the receiver will either output nothing to the servos or a stream of random pulses due to the background interference, as you can see in the oscilloscope trace. This causes the servos to jitter around randomly. The servo switcher allows you to connect both the radio control receiver and another controller device, such as a microcontroller, simultaneously to the same servos. In this demonstration, I will use a simple servo tester, which moves each servo in turn in order to simulate the microcontroller system. The servo switcher monitors one channel of the radio control receiver using the capture compare module on the PIC 12F683. This allows the servo switcher's onboard microcontroller to time the incoming pulses. If the incoming pulses are irregular or not present, the servo switcher uses a 4066 quad analog switch IC to route the microcontroller servo signals to the servos. If the radio control transmitter is powered on, the servo switcher detects the valid control pulses and switches over to the radio control signal, disconnecting the microcontroller's signals. This means that if the microcontroller fails for any reason and the vehicle goes out of control, you can simply switch on the radio transmitter and take over the vehicle. Since the servo switcher is effectively passive, you can use it during software development and testing and then simply remove it and the radio receiver from the finished autonomous vehicle. By adding more 4066 ICs, you can switch as many channels as you like. Each 4066 IC allows you to switch two channels. Full details are available from my website www.waitingforfriday.com